ever um, shown as a society where girls are married off, children as, as little kids, child marriage is rampant, etc. Firstly, the figures show that the number is very small in terms of percentages. More importantly, even there, the betrothal may take place very young, but the gona, which is the actual cohabitation, starts only much after puberty. But that's not all that there is to it. The societies that keep accusing us of uh, marrying off girls young, etc., need to do, I think we need to do reversing of the gaze. Mm -hmm. Namely, teenage sex is rampant all over the West. And it's a fact, for example, even in England, where teenage mothers, unwed mothers, have become such a volatile social problem because they're not able to take care, unlike here, for example, where if a girl in her teenage is married, she's married into a family, she has a whole support system to take care of children, but a teenage girl getting into a relationship, having multiple partners, ending up pregnant, ending up having kids, having then to bring up the kid all by herself, while she may herself be uns too unstable to do it. It's a very serious problem yes. in England, in America, and which is why they're actually lowering the age of marriage to even 14, 15, just so that um, these girls who get pregnant, um, if they can persuade the man who impregnated them, uh, you know, can at least get married and make a family together. Now, any sensible person would say, an unwed teenage mother handling it all by herself is much more at risk than a wedded teenage girl. And especially if she has a supportive family around. Now, I'm not at all arguing in favor of early marriages, teenage marriages. I chose not to be married at all. And I think it's a great way of life. Uh, and our society respects people who give up grastashram altogether. So it's not out of marriage obsession that I'm suggesting this. The point that I'm trying to make is this, that early marriages take place again typically in areas which where violence and unsafety are serious features. In, for example, many of the tribal societies, the percentage of women who never marry, or where, where it's safe to move around. So the real problems are law and order, or as I said, our history of invasions. Low, um, low age of marriage, again, is, is typical of areas which witnessed invasions. And I like to end this with a quick story about my own mother's life. She grew up in Peshawar, and when they used to go to school there or college, even the Tonga, because it was Muslim dominated, very unsafe, girls used to be abducted, it was a very uh, unsafe area. And even the Tonga they used to travel in used to be covered with a thick chadar. And I've seen pictures of my mother as a schoolgirl wearing a thick chadar. This, as soon as partition happened and they came to India, and even though they settled in a so-called Muslim majority area at that time as refugees, within days, the chadar was gone. My masis and my mother were wearing dupattas of this kind, or not wearing dupattas, they were riding cycles. They were going alone for night shows. They were doing their shopping all together. Overnight, it vanished. It's the same family which had to behave in a certain manner in a certain environment. And that taught me a lot, which is the majburis of our society, you know, as I said, the law and order situation, the violence, what kind of uh, social pathologies you live with, we have converted them into as though they are inherent flaws of our society. And um, especially when we compare to the West, let's please th those havens of freedom offer much less support to women, especially working women. Here are working, you know, one of the reasons working women in India have high trajectory. They, they rise high in their professions is because they can count on mother-in-law, aunt, 
dadi, nani, several relatives to take care of those kids. They're not doing it all by themselves. And in societies where women have to be all alone taking care of kids, that's where they have to take long breaks, that's where they go batty, trying to combine work life with, and you know, many decide not to have children, etc. So we need to actually reverse the gaze. Enough of being lectured by people who can barely manage their own affairs well. Thank you, Mother <laughs> Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.